So we found ourselves in the greenside bunker. Now, if you're a player that struggles with the confidence from this situation, then this video is absolutely going to help. In today's lesson, I'm going to cover the key fundamentals for a sound technique out of the bunkers to give you that confidence you need next time you find yourself in this situation. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Danny Malcolm here at the beautiful Western Australian Golf Club here in Perth, Western Australia. And before I get into today's lesson, please like and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below. Lots more great content to come in all areas of the game. Okay, so today's lesson, we find ourselves in the greenside bunker. Now, if you're a player that struggles with confidence out of this situation, then this video is really going to help. So first thing to note that we don't actually hit the golf ball when we're coming out of the greenside bunker. All we do is hit the sand, take a nice bit of sand and the ball will actually come out on that tuft of sand. There's no direct contact between ball and club. So firstly, with the setup, I've drawn a few lines here. So the first line here is basically towards your target. The second line is pretty much parallel to that or just slightly left of your target. And I've drawn a third line here, which is for your ball position, which is just going to be just inside the left heel for a right-handed golfer. So with a, once that's set up there, uh, what I want you to do is also just draw a little bit of a box around the ball. And yes, you're not allowed to draw lines when you play on the golf course, but when you're practicing, this is a wonderful setup to do. So with your stance, I'd like you to get nice and nice and wide uh, with your left foot your front foot if you just flare that out about 60 degrees not too much and not too little about 60 degrees that just allows you then to just set your knee slightly over that lead toe and get that weight set on your left side now another big another big thing that's very important is to get low almost like you're riding a horse so what i see often with the, with the amateur golfer is they will lift themselves up in order to get the ball up in the air when in actual fact we need to get low to get the ball up okay so we get nice and low almost like you're doing a little bit of a squat here at setup weight set more on this left side and then there's a fourth line that i've yet to draw which is going to be now slightly inside this initial line and this line here i want you to get your shaft in line with that line now on the ground. So it's almost towards the belly button. One thing we don't want in bunkers is to get the handle leading or the handle dragging through the ball. And let me just explain why. So firstly, understanding how we're trying to use the sand wedge, we're really trying to use the bounce on the sand wedge here and get the, the trailing edge to actually enter the sand first. So we never want the club to, to dig, we don't want that sharp bit to, to get into the bunkers we want the bounce or, the, or the, the trailing edge to get in there first so another thing to help with that is to actually open up your club face a little bit out of dress not too much but just a little bit there really just to expose that bounce and to ensure that that's going to be entering the sand first and then hopefully get the club coming out of the other side of that box so we've got ourselves nice and low we've got the club face open slightly and the club shaft is now in line with that fourth line and drew in the sand. Now a final piece here with, with the setup is to get the hands a little bit lower as well. So I mentioned earlier about getting our body low, but if we get our hands low as well, it's also going to help us get the ball up in the air. And this is a reason as well why people say when they open the club face, well, isn't the ball going to go to the right? Well, not when you get the hands lower. The reason being, if you imagine if I aim the club face to the right here, the ball, yes, will, will go that way. But when I start to lower the handle, you see how that actually brings the flight back in line with your target. So when you see those tall players on the TV aligning very straight or even sometimes close to their target, it's because they've got their hands nice and low, which actually brings the launch direction of your ball back in line with your, with your target. So that's why we don't need to open up the stance too crazy and so fairly neutral to slightly open it is something that I favor. Now, final thing with the grip. Now this is a specialist shot, so I like to use a specialist grip. And again, I've got this from Pete Cowan. Uh, he likes to use this with his, uh, his tall players. Is the, he calls it the butterfly grip. 
So what it's going to do is get a left hand that's slightly stronger and a right hand that's slightly weaker. So your hands are in this position here. What that does, it really just allows you to set this left wrist much easier and also having the right hand weaker when you swing through, you can release that club because we really do want to release the club out of the bunkers. Get that club head hitting into the sand first and then coming out the other side. So you can release it knowing that our club head isn't going to turn over and therefore the leading edge digging into the sand. With a lot of amateur golfers, that what you see is with a normal grip, they may then swing back with the club face very closed and then swing through with the club digging, digging in and that leading edge really presenting itself into the sand. So we want to do everything we can to get using the bounce and this grip is something that also helps with that along with opening the club face. So your backswing wants to look something like this, wide open club face, really exposing the bounce. And you know then that that club's not going to get dug in. You can smack the sand. Club's going to bounce out of the sand through the other side and the ball's just going to come up out on that tuft of sand. So that's pretty much it there with the setup. And then in terms of the swing, we're going to swing slightly, slightly across or outside of this initial target line. So they were kind of matching where our feet are aiming. So just ever so slightly across it there. Okay, let's play a shot. So we've got all those points again. Ball position inside the left heel. Left foot flared out. Knee slightly tracking over that, that left toe. Sitting down almost like you're riding a horse. Hands nice and low. Club in line with that line on the floor. Slightly open face. And now all we're going to do is try and smack the sand or smack that box out of the sand. There we go. So you'll hear that nice sort of bouncy sound. There's no digging there. I hope that helps. Any questions, please post them below. And thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you again soon.